Hello and welcome back to another tech tip tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to go from A to Z trading on Honeyswap, which has the lowest exchange fees to date. Stay tuned. Let's start by jumping right into setting up your first MetaMask wallet. So what we want to do do want to go to Google on our favorite browser and we're going to want to search up MetaMask. As you guys can see, it's the first link here. And what I want to do is I want to download now. Once we added our MetaMask wallet, let's say get started. So since this is a new wallet, I'm assuming that no one has a wallet yet. What we're going to do is we're going to create our wallet. So here is where we just want to hit agree. We want to create our new password. So I'm just going to create a simple and easy password for testing purposes. Obviously, make sure you have a really secure password as this is going to be used to access your funds and your trades. So. I'm just going to type in a password here. And there we go. Now they're matching. And now this is your secret backup phrase. So what this means is, as you guys saw in the previous step, is if you, something goes wrong with your browser, your computer, or anything like that, um, you're going to use these 15 words to recover your wallet. So what you want to do is you want to write these words down make sure you know them and make sure you save them somewhere safe as um, if you do lose this someone can steal your wallet so write these down keep it somewhere extremely safe and make sure it's protected so i'm just going to show you guys these words now so i'm just going to write them down so i have written down my words now and i'm going to have to input the correct words in order. So, as you guys saw, I'm just clicking in the words now. Oh, I missed a word here. So, Actually, we want to add this one right beside shove and fork, and that should be good. Okay, so there you go, guys. So now we have set up our MetaMask wallet, but since we are going to be using the cheapest chain out there, which is XDAI, we're going to want to do one addition to this current wallet. So let's just cancel this. And let's just get familiar with the wallet quick. So at the top here, I'm going to pin my extension so I can have easy access to it, as you guys can see. But now this only this Ethereum network only works on say the anything that is on the main net. So if you hear about main net, it's considering the apps like Uniswap and all those other platforms. Um, what we want to do is we want to add a new chain. So how we do that is we go down here and add custom RPC. And this is where we add our XDAI chain. We are going to be adding the following network settings. So as you guys can see here, uh, the network name is XDAI. The new RPC URL is this right here, chain ID, symbol, and our block scout. So take a second, pause the screen, and make sure you input the correct things. I will be adding the network settings in the description below.
and that's it. So now we have added our chain information. And what we're going to do now is we're going to hit save. So now we have added a new network. And you can see that at the top here. And it is now part of our list of networks. So if we want to be trading on Honeyswap where the fees are cheap, we're going to want to be on this network here. So I'm going to show you guys in this example how we're going to load some fiat currency. So we're going to go from uh, Canadian dollars into XDAI, which is a representation of USD. So it's a stable coin. So we're buying Canadian dollars to USD now with the ramp platform. So first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to Honeyswap. If you're still unsure, you can check out all these tutorials here. They have great information about how to go about doing everything. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to want to buy with ramp now. This next part of the video was recorded at a different time, but the process and steps should be all the same. The first thing I want to do to purchase $10 worth, I want to search up my country, click on that. And as you guys can see that it converts it into euros. Now I'm going to put in my email here so we can get along with the transfer. Now I'm going to go to my email and put in my confirmation code. And now we're going to set up the payment method. As you guys can see, um, I can use debit card. So I'm going to be putting in my information here. So I'll fast forward the video. And now I'll be putting in my debit card details in this part of the video. And now I will be adding my XDAI address from my MetaMask wallet. confirm we're going to put in our security code from the back of the card again and now in this screen we have to do the SEPA verification through our mobile phone and simply just punch in the code and hit submit now you successfully bought some XDAI and you are ready to trade it or do whatever you want with it and if you can click at the bottom here, you can go and look at your statement. So now that we have purchased our XDAI from the ramp, what we want to do is we want to launch the app. So we're going to go back to honeyswap.org. If you came off the page and just hit launch app. And as you guys can see, there's an update on the token list. So the token list um, is something that you need to kind of look at and choose from. Um, Honeyswap has a default list for tokens. So what we want to do is we want to hit choose list and then accept the default list. So as you guys can see now, we have all the tokens. We can pick from various tokens to trade and go from there. So what we want to do now is we want to connect our wall. So we want to go MetaMask. wallet and we're going to click MetaMask and now we're going to have this come up so what you want to do is you want to connect your wallet to the DAP so by clicking next here we're con we're allowing MetaMask to collect with uh, connect with Honeyswap as you guys can see here I'm going to hit connect and there you guys have it so now we're in the main trading screen and and this doesn't give you a lot of information, but if you go over to the side here and you click on analytics, you will see the different tokens being traded. Um, and this is an overview of Honeyswap. And if you click here, you can check out your token lists and what tokens are being traded. You can click here and see 
you know what uh, what's having the most traction what isn't having the most traction um, as you guys can see donuts getting wrecked right now um, it did have a 800 or thousand percent increase earlier but uh, yeah so let's go let's go and buy some you know honey because you know why not we're in honey swap so we gotta support the team here so uh, let's buy 5x die of honey swap so let's just remember x die is a stable coin which is paired to the USD so we go here and now we just type in the coin we want to buy so type in honey and there you go here you can see that five dollars will give you 0 0.017 honey and at the bottom here it says price so you're currently buying five dollars worth of honey at 286.221 usd per one honey and as you guys can see here you can do the swap here and you can see what each thing is and so if i hit swap now and confirm the swap now as you guys can see it's giving me the pop-up on the metamask so it's saying 5x die trade it says swap exact eat for tokens and right here what we want to do is set our gas price now you don't want to be using the recommended gas prices that metamask has because on x die it's such a fast and 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 cheap network uh, we can just put one gui which is equal to as you guys can see three decimal places after the zero and we're paying 482 um, for gas fees so we're not even we're paying one one th or 482 one thousandths of a cent so yeah it's super cheap and let's just hit confirm and let's close this and as you guys can see here it says swap x die for honey so that worked and if you guys want to look at the transaction you can view it on block scout so block scout will show you the transaction that took place and as you guys can see i swapped 5x die for the honey so if i go back now to the honey swap interface you guys will see that if i click my metamask wallet up here that I have 4.997 x I left, but I don't see honey. Where is honey? Okay, so to add a token, at least for honey, it is nice and easy because the honey swap guys made it nice and easy. So once you click honey, you can just go add honey to MetaMask and you add the token. Once the token is added, you can go onto your wallet. And now you guys can see that now we have our token showing up but i'm going to show you guys a little bit different so if i want to buy say one x die worth of steak and say i want to do the swap here so i confirm the transaction again and wait for that to stop and as you guys can see it's about to confirm and there we have it so now we just swapped for one stake but if I go here now there's no add stake button here and we can't see where stake is so this is a general problem that most users have so what you want to do is you want to go to the top here and you want to view your address on block scout so on block scout you're going to be able to see all your tokens all your transfers everything like that so if I click on tokens this is where you can see your balance so as you guys can see at the top here i have 398 usd so x die and i have honey and i also have steak but it still doesn't show it up in my wallet so what you want to do is you want to take this address here copy it go to your metamask extension click add token and go over here where it says custom token and paste the address that we copied earlier as you guys can see it pre-populates everything for you hit next and now we can see my available balance
And that's pretty much it. So now you guys know how to trade on Honeyswap. You know how to on-ramp from Honeyswap. And now I will show you guys one last cool thing. So now that we have purchased Honey and Stake, I'm going to show you guys how to trade it back into USD or XDAI. So what I want to do here is I want to go to Honey. And the easiest way to do this is you can hit this little arrow here. And it swaps over your uh, pair. So what I want to do is I want to sell all of the honey here. And now since I haven't done a trade with honey yet, I need to approve the transaction first. So I have to hit approve and hit confirm. And once we're approving the token, then you're able to start trading. And there we have it. So now we're approved to sell honey. Now we're going to hit swap here. And we're going to confirm the swap. Again, we're going to put our gas fees. And we're going to hit confirm. Close. And then we're just going to wait for the transaction. And as you guys can see, the transaction finished. Now I have 9.96 XDAI. Obviously, I'm an awful trader, but that's pretty much how you buy and sell currency. So this is just an example. Obviously, you want to wait for a, a lucrative opportunity to buy and sell stuff, um, but this is not an investment advice. So do as you please. Thank you for watching my video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe as it helps me grow my channel. and. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.